how to get into an abundant mindset. So if you're here, you're most likely wanting to get to the next level of your life, of your business, of your finances, and you've probably realized that in order to reach the next level of your abundance, you need your mindset to match that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did to help me step into an abundant mindset and increase my levels of wealth and finances in my own life. So the first thing that you need to know is that when you set a goal, when you're setting a big goal, whether it's health, whether it's relationships, whether it's money, a lot of the time when you first set the goal, you won't even believe it. So when I first set a big goal, I often feel like it's impossible. I remember when I first set a goal to have my first 100K month, I felt like it was totally out of my range, out of my league. I had no idea how I was going to get there. I had no idea where the clients were going to come from. But what I knew how the forces of the universe work is that it has to become real in our own mind first. We have to believe it. We have to know it's going to happen and we have to embody it first. And so what I did was I followed essentially the steps I'm going to talk about in this video, I asked myself, who would I need to be in order to create it? I believed it in the core of my being. And it was from that belief, from that knowing and that expectation that it was going to happen, that it inevitably happened. By the way, if you like content on abundance mindset and on reprogramming your subconscious mind, please like this video and subscribe because I'm always coming out with new videos on this topic, as well as exercises that actually help you reprogram your subconscious mind, like subliminals, like meditations, like hypnosis and EFT tapping. So the first thing that you need to know when you want to get into an abundant mindset is to realize that your current level of abundance isn't based on reality. It's based on our past programming. So I'll often tell my clients this example. If you grew up and you were like a celebrity, for example, you were one of the Kardashians, you wouldn't think that making 100K a month or even a million dollars a month was a lot of money. You would probably wonder how people even get by on a million dollars a month because you were surrounded by wealth, because you are surrounded by that type of life, that is just what is normal to you. And so when we want to get into that next level abundance mindset, it's important to realize that our current mindset around money is just based on who we were and who we were surrounded by or what the media told us up to this point. So we all have programs based on what we were surrounded by, the media that we saw, the people who we were surrounded by, the environment that we were in. And those programs are usually programming us from ages zero to seven. That's when we're in the state of hyper learning. That's when we're essentially in a state of hypnosis where we take in all the information around us and we can't reject any information. We also, of course, store memories and emotions in our DNA, in our genetic programming as well. So beliefs that are passed down from our parents, from generations before, are also ingrained in us. And that's why a lot of the time, if we have a fear and we can't understand why we have that fear, it might be because we've actually passed down that fear from a previous generation. So our subconscious mind will never allow in anything greater than our self-image and anything greater than our programming. So if you look at your internal programming now and you have identities and beliefs and values and your nervous system is regulated around earning a certain amount of money, having a certain amount of thing in your life. If that is what is programmed within you, that's exactly how you will feel safe. And so in order to change that, essentially we need to change all of the programs that are happening within us to allow us to bring more in. So based on the programmings that are happening within us, that's how we create our internal experience of what we believe of the world around us, which creates our emotions and which creates the state that our body is in. And of course, the state that we're in dictates our behaviors. If we feel good and confident about selling, for example, or about starting a business or making a new product or making certain connections, those behaviors are going to allow us to have better results. And then when we look out into the world, we experience better things, and that creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. What often happens is people continue to repeat the same loop over and over in their life because they don't change their internal programming. So the programming with their beliefs around money, their identities, their decisions, 
um, how their nervous system is regulated around receiving, it stays the same, their behaviors are the same, the results are the same, and then that's what they see when they look out into the world, and then they tell themselves over and over again that things just have to stay the same. And so that's how I knew when I wanted to go from 10K a month to 100K a month that I had to stop this loop from happening. I had to get out of the same habit of behaviors. And in order to do that, I needed to change my internal programming. So changing the internal programming is one of the most important things that we can do in order to create an abundant mindset. So make something that feels really, really big feel normal to you. So as humans, we're essentially designed to stay within our comfort zone. We know subconsciously that up to this point, being the person who we always were with the same environment and surroundings that we've always had has kept us safe. And so our subconscious mind will actually work to keep us with in that same comfort zone for as long as we live. If we wanna create a new comfort zone, a higher level of living, a higher standard for abundance, then what we need to do is allow it to feel like it's totally normal for us. And there's so many ways that you can do this, but one of the ways is to surround yourself by it. So perhaps go into a luxury store and make yourself feel like it's totally normal to shop at a store like this, or go to a nice cafe and sit down and have a cup of coffee, even if that's like all that you can have right there or listen to mentors and coaches who are talking about things that, that operate at a higher level or read books at that higher level. Anything where you can normalize your mind and normalize your nervous system to this higher level. And then also act it out and embody it, right? When you start to act and embody a different way of being, the world around you actually shifts and people act differently towards you too. So I remember a few years ago, I was at a conference and for the first little bit of the conference, I went in and I essentially acted like an audience member. But then I remembered my embodiment principles. And so what I decided is if I wanna be the type of person who can stand up on a stage like that and speak and deliver content in the way that the speakers were delivering, I needed to start to embody it. So the next time I entered into the auditorium, I held a completely different energy. I had my shoulders back. I walked in with confidence. And what happened was because my energy changed so significantly, people actually came up out of their seats and walked over to me to give me compliments and to talk to me. So it was because I was holding a different energy that the world around me acted differently. And so one big thing, if we want to see our external reality change, it's really important to embody that first. First. What I was doing by embodying that was actually creating new neural pathways to make it feel like it was my new normal. And that's how you can make something that feels really big feel totally normal to you. So think about the version of you who's already living your abundant life. How would you feel? How would you act? Who would you be? How would you show up in the world? So this is the logical levels of the mind and it shows us how we can create the most subconscious change. So a lot of the time if we're working with a coach, a coach will only work with us on the results or on the behaviors. So if somebody wants to make more money, they might just say, okay, go out and sell more. If somebody wants to lose weight, they might just say, okay, wake up at 6 a.m. and just go to the gym. But the problem is if we're only working with our conscious mind, we're working with our willpower, and that only dictates less than 5% of our daily actions. And that's the reason why so many people will set a New Year's resolution and then two weeks later totally forget about it because they're just trying to use force and they're just trying to use will to get to a certain outcome. What we need to do if we want to create massive change is start to work on the higher levels because when we can shift the programs on these higher levels, it has a trickle down effect on everything else in our life. So when I'm working with a client or I'm working on myself, I'm always looking at my goal, thinking about how is my goal tied to the highest good of all? And then I'm working on identity, knowing that when I be the person, when I become the person who has this outcome, it's going to have have a trickle down effect on my values, my beliefs, my potential that I can reach, which will inevitably affect my behaviors and which will get me better results in my environment. And the beautiful thing is the higher you are working on these levels of change, the more you're working with the subconscious and the subconscious operates over 95% of our daily behaviors. And so when we can create that change on the subconscious level, we're able to drive towards our goals and outcomes that we want essentially on autopilot.
It's the same thing as if you wake up in the morning, you often brush your teeth with the same hand or tie your shoe with the same hand or you get in the car the same way and then you drive to where you're going. And sometimes you don't even notice how you got there. It's because your subconscious has already been programmed to act in this way and it's living out the program. So what we wanna do is figure out who is the version of you who already lives in an abundant mindset, program that in, in these higher levels and allow it to have a trickle down effect on the other areas of our life. Another thing that you can do to help you tap into an abundant mindset is look at your money in a completely different way and make your money work for you. So for example, in my life, I have programs and products that are passive, so I can be making money even when I'm not working. I also have real estate investments where I have a tenant who's paying off the mortgage of one of my properties. And so essentially, one thing that we can do when we start to accumulate wealth is look at ways that our money can actually work for us. So we're not always trading time for money, but we can actually leverage what we've already created. And another really, really important thing that we can do to help us tap into an abundant mindset is begin to think from the end. So make decisions from your future self. So I know for me, when I was first starting Yes Supply, I knew I wanted to create a company that impacted people all over the world, that helped people all over the world. And so I had to start embodying and making decisions from my future self. So I remember when I was first making uh, choices to make investments in myself, I was really scared. But I asked myself, is the version of Reese that I'm becoming, does she have this knowledge? Does she have this understanding? Standing, is she surrounded by these types of people? And because I knew that the person I was becoming would have invested in this, would have been a part of this, would have flown to this conference, whatever it was, I made decisions like my future self. And that is what allowed me to become my future self. So it's really important to understand that when we're manifesting, sometimes we can manifest simply just by thinking about something and being in the emotion. But it's also important to remember that taking inspired action is also a big part of it. And what I see a lot is people who are getting the downloads for the inspired action. So they're getting the nudge to create the program. They're getting the nudge to take the course. They're getting the nudge to make the YouTube video or whatever it is that they wanna do. But then they're blocking their own abundance by blocking the inspired action. They're allowing themselves to move out of the energy of abundance and into the energy of fear and doubt by saying, well, what if I make this YouTube video and no one watches it? Or what if I create this program and nobody buys it? But when you do that, you're always creating your own self-fulfilling prophecy like I talked about before. So if you say, what if I do this and it doesn't work out, then you do nothing and there's no choice but for it to not work out. And so when you make decisions from the end, when you go to the place in your mind and your energy where the result has already occurred and you make decisions from that place, you're actually opening yourself up to the energy to allow it to become real. And when you really think about it, you'll realize that that is probably one of the only ways that it can become real because we live in a participatory universe. So it's important for us to participate in our own success too. So you'll see in this image, there's all these different lines that represent the frequency that we're thinking on. If we're thinking only in the energy and the thoughts of our current reality, we can only attract more of the energy and thoughts of our current reality. But when you start to think about your yes, what it is that you really want, and you think from that place and you're energized from that place, you can actually attract opportunities and ideas that are on that level. Knowing that our thoughts don't just exist in our mind, but they're actually being sent out and shared with people all over the world. So you never know what opportunity is actually being core coordinated for you just when you start to think about it and have the emotions of faith that it is done. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you loved it. If you did, hit the like button below. I would so much appreciate it and lets me know that you want more videos like this. And if you wanna get started with rewiring your subconscious mind for wealth and abundance, check out my description below. I have a wealth consciousness rewiring bundle that goes deeper into how your subconscious mind was currently wired and how you can rewire it, as well as exercises and rituals that allow you to literally go in and reprogram your subconscious mind for success with subliminals, hypnosis, EFT, and nervous system regulation techniques. And if you want to work closely with me to reprogram your mind, I also have my Manifest Money for Good mastermind. So you can head to yessupply.co slash manifest money for good and sign up for the wait list for when that opens.